welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you what a capacitor is and how it works. Capacitors are two terminal electrical devices that function similar to a battery in that they store electrical energy but differ on how they work. Capacitors do not produce new electrons and can only store them. They are used in many applications for different purposes. They can be used to provide an electrical charge to a device after the device has been removed from a power source to prevent damage to a unit on shut off. Capacitors are also used to prevent lags, provide power factor correction, and filter out ripples that occur in rectification of AC to DC. Inside a capacitor, there are two metal plates which are separated by a non-conductive area. This non-conductive area is called the dielectric and is like an electrical insulator. The dielectric can be made of any type of material as long as it's non-conductive such as paper, plastic, glass, mica, and ceramic materials. Capacitors will conduct a positive and negative charge from the two plates and hold an equal and opposite charges on their facing surfaces and the dielectric develops an electrical field. Because the conductors are close together, the opposite charges of the conductors attract one another and allow the capacitor to store more charge for a given voltage than if the conductors were separated. Depending on the size and type of dielectric, some capacitors are better for high frequency uses, while some are better for high voltage applications. Capacitance, the potential for a capacitor to store energy, is measured in farads. A one farad capacitor can store one coulomb of charge at one volt. A coulomb is the charge transported by a constant current of one ampere in one second. Most capacitors are measured in microfarads. Capacitors, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at Galco.com.